Hi everyone, so here I am with uh, my Instant Pot, the 7-in-1 Duo 60. And today I am making chicken biryani, which is a very popular South Asian dish, uh, Indian Pakistani dish, uh, combining rice and chicken. Um, so I am going to begin uh, with the ingredients. All the exact amounts will be listed in the description box below. Uh, but I will also go through them as I show you the ingredients. So first off, we have oil, uh, maybe about three or four tablespoons of oil. Pretty much just to cover the bottom of the pot to brown the chicken. And then we have some garlic paste and some ginger paste, uh, maybe about one tablespoon each. And then we're going to use about half a packet of onion soup and dip mix. Um, I like to use this because it gives it a nice strong onion flavor. Um, we're also going to use um, crispy fried onions, maybe about a cup of these fried onions. And I like to substitute um, uh, the real onions, like the actual onions for crispy fried onions, just because it's faster <laughs> um, to just put these in the recipe. Um, then we are also going to use um, a chicken, a, a chicken um, biryani masala mix or chicken biryani uh, ready-made uh, spice mix. Um, and you don't have to use the national brand. Um, if you can get your hands on Shan or Laziza, those are the other two popular brands. Um, you could totally use those as well. Um, and we're only going to use um, half a packet of that. Um, even though the recipe at the back of the box says use one full packet, but since I'm substituting with um, the onion soup and dip mix and the fried onions and also the other spices that I'm going to put in. So I only use half uh, the packet of chicken biryani spice mix. Um, now the other spices that I'm going to put in are um, maybe three or four um, cloves, um, a few pods of cardamom, and this is salt, turmeric, this is cinnamon, and then we have some um, garam masala or uh, you could call that curry powder. Maybe your grocery store calls it um, curry powder. Um, so we're going to also add in these spices um, in addition to the uh, biryani spice mix. Um, then we have um, three chicken breasts and I cut them in small cubes and they're boneless, so boneless chicken breast. And then we have two cups of rice and three cups of water. And you don't have to soak your rice. I just have them prepared because I'm just going to make it now. So there's no uh, prerequisite to soak the rice, which is awesome, it saves time. So these are all the ingredients and we're going to go ahead and um, start making our biryani one step at a time. As the first step, what I like to do is to make sure that my pressure knob is always on the ceiling position. Um, this is easy to overlook, so it's good to check as your first step. Um, you don't want to have everything in there and then realize it was on the venting position, so right away put it on the ceiling position. And then we're going to um, turn it on the saute mode and also double check that our pot is in there. You don't want to start adding ingredients to the main pot, which is also a common mistake. So it's on um, and I leave it on default. We don't need to make it, um, we don't need to make it any hotter because we're just going to brown the chicken. So let's start off by adding our oil to the pot. And then we're going to go ahead and just wait a couple of minutes for the oil to warm up and then add our chicken to the oil. So now you can see the pot is hot and our chicken has started browning. We'll wait for it to brown a tad bit more before we add our fried onions and garlic and ginger.
just keep stirring a bit so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. Now most of our uh, chicken looks white, so this is a good time to add some fried onion and also our garlic and ginger paste. Cover it all up with the oil. Now that our onion has also started browning up a bit, now we're just going to add all the spices and then immediately after add the rice with the water. Here we go with the spices. More spices. And then just give it a stir and also add the rice in the water simultaneously. So all of our ingredients are in. The chicken, the rice, all the spices. And just give it a good stir. And we're ready to close off the lid. And hopefully our one pot meal of chicken biryani should be ready very soon. going to turn it on manual for five minutes and that's it and now we wait the, the timer just came to an end and now I will turn it off and we're going to do uh, maybe around five minutes of uh, natural release and then after five minutes we will do a quick release so I'll be back so after about five minutes of uh, natural release, I went ahead and did a quick release under my stove hood. And now for the moment of truth, let's open and see what our final product looks like. Oh, there you go. Put the lid aside. And this is what our final biryani looks like. So I'm going to take a wooden fork and fluff up the rice a bit and then I will present to you the final product. So here we are with the final product. Chicken biryani made in the instant pot. Um, very easy to make. Uh, just throw all the ingredients in the pot and set the time, walk away and when you come back the biryani is ready. No need to babysit. So let me see if I can show you the texture of the rice. I garnished uh, with some dates. You can garnish with mint leaves or coriander leaves, um, anything. And you can serve it with some yogurt and some salad and your dinner spread is ready. So if you uh, try this recipe, you know, leave me a comment below and let us know how it turned out and if you did something differently. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Happy cooking, guys.